Okay, so we're talking about when you get depressed. And what I wanted to talk about was the seed. Ano, ano. So the seed, do you know how a seed grows at first? So if the seed starts here, which way does it grow? If it's in the ground right here, which way does it grow? Uh, sideways. No. Up. No. Down. Yeah. And this is important why? Because the seed has an understanding in it. So the seed first grows down. Om Mani Padme Hum means the jewel that is within the lotus. The lotus starts in the mud below the lake. It is the depression. It is the darkness. You are nothing. Nothing works. You can't smoke. You can't listen to music. You can't fucking feel anything. Fucking have sex. You can't have sex. You can't do shit, dude. You're fucking detached because you are in mud. Oh, the earth, the shit, the fucking where everything starts. You grow further into it. Go darker. Go deeper. Feel less. Suicidal. Go all the way and let yourself go because when you go down, then oh, you it's begin. Not accepted. That's right. Now you start to grow up. And as the lotus grows, it grows all the way through the water, right? And it has to grow all the way through the mud and the water just to get to the surface. And at the surface of the water, it blooms and it is the king. And when it blooms on the surface, it has this short time of being the king, right? And then it sprouts its seeds and they fall. Uh-oh, I was feeling so good though. And you fall down to the earth. Oh through the water, into the mud, down into the mud. Uh. Unfortunately, what we do then is we start struggling to grow again. Uh. And that's gonna prolong our process. So What we need to do is embrace a cycle that we are involved in. We have to understand it as a divine gift and we have to embrace our depression and grow down. No. Go harder, go, no. go harder, go home. No, exactly. Grow down and then you will grow up again. And to embrace this process so is don't, to, don't resist. to understand the seat of compassion. That's what the lotus represents. Because to have compassion starts with yourself. Yeah, you to yourself. And you have to understand that that thing buried in the mud that is the seed, that is the jewel at the root of the lotus, yeah. right? Yeah. That's the same seed in the mud as it is in the blooming flower on the surface. Yeah. Sure. And to have compassion for yourself, brother. It's hard sometimes. No shit. But to work on that, like, it's okay. Why is it not okay to not feel anything? What are the standards? How are you supposed to be? Because, because like, look, I want to be normal people. My, my father says to me, because he's a little bit, um, old like uh, old old behaved yeah he says to me you have to you have to you don't have to um, you don't have to try to be happy all the time and i said to him pa if i'm up i feel everything i cry i i i love i i i i you know yeah but when, yeah. I, when i'm depressed i'm i'm devoid of feeling anyway, yeah. and i want to feel because feeling is making music have sex have life have, have, have feelings you know yeah feelings is everything and, and my father says to me because my father's also really wise he says to me Don't let yourself control my feelings. Do what you have to do. Take responsibility of your life. Mm. And life is fucked up. Life's messed up. Look at everything. Holocaust, everything. Mm. Life is suffering. Mm. But you have to take your burden and go. And I'm... Yeah. yeah. Amen to that. That's the amen to that? Yeah. And you would like my father. Man. All right. It sounds like it. But he's, he's really... When you talk to my father, he will, he will convert you. You're yeah. like, hey, you come to church with us. Nice, I'm down. Yeah. I'll, I'll go to any yeah, my, church. My grandpa made a church in uh, Rotterdam. I'll go to any church. He's, he's the most beautiful guy, man. 94 is my grandpa. Wow, really? And, and he uh, smoked till he was 40, and he still lives. Yeah, because that's poisonous words to a healthy ear are much better than healthy words to a poison ear. It is a mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. There it is. Kierkegaard. So my shit no, 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 is... No, no, Aristoteles. Yeah, Kierkegaard, you know, this shit for me is like, so the faith that Kierkegaard advocates. Yeah. But he was against the church. Of course. Yeah. But... Church fucked up. To ground yourself in that faith in your gifts. When you don't feel anything, it's a gift as much as when you feel everything. Yeah. And it's going to be your work in <laughs> your life to balance those factors. And when you do that, yeah. you you will be more than a king. Kings are fucking bullshit. Yeah. You'll be more than a king. You will. You know what you'll be? You'll be a god. Like me. Yehuda. Uh, Yehuda and Ezra. Out. My brother. 
Debbie, Debbie. If it's the Ahura, it's the Azura. But if it's the Devi, I'm the devil and fuck y'all. Hey, Yeshua Adonai. Hey, Hamashiach, get him.